Well, it turns out it's not really the universe's fault. If you think about it, there's only at best, nope. Well, if you, well, it turns out, it, well, it turns out it's not really the universe's fault. If you think about it, there's only one way, or at best, maybe a few ways for things to be organized, and nope. Think of it this way, your lunch was a very complicated and organized set of molecules. You ate it, and then something happened. <laughs> you, it gave you the energy to, okay, well, I just wanted to say, change this a little bit. I, it's strange, we're always like assuming that our audience has done something. Like that time you got your lip pierced at the mall. And I was like, no, no one did that. Those molecules were broken down even further as they were converted, ooh. Those molecules were then broken down even further as they were converted in no. I, I gotta go back to wide. By the time you're finished, your house may be orbi orbi orbally. No, 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 no. We all have to live with disorder, so you might as We all have to live with disorder. We all have to live with <laughs> So even though we sometimes think of spontaneous as meaning sudden or impulsive, like the majority of mall lip piercings, in chemistry, spontaneous doesn't... Maybe you're casually dating or in a committed relationship, or maybe that... How come male humans never fall for female vampires? It's never happened. It's not about drama here in chemistry. We don't want the drama. In real life, or at least Paula Abdul songs. That's a Paula Abdul song, right? Yes, with MC Scat Cat. I'm old. I'll just keep constant loud so you can get it. Ah! We come together. Bonds can also be ionic if the electrons are transferred, and you learned how to calculate the energy of an ionic bond using Coulomb's law, bunny rabbit. Molecules. That's it. We're done. We're done. It's a kind of symmetry, not just of the molecule, but of the charge. Uh. Okay, now here are ve our two. Oh, right, we're not doing this yet. Uh oh. Doo -dee -doo, doo -doo. So, okay. So close. <laughs> They'll do anything just to be near it. Why? Well, some simple soup. Are you serious, Hank? Are you serious? Got the whole thing in one take, and then you said simple seriotic sense. Electronegativity increases from left to right on the periodic table because there are what, 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 what? Nope. So for polarity to occur in a molecule, you have to have two different elements at a minimum, and the difference between their electronegativities has to be greater than 0. 0.5. Let's do that again. Okay. This is a version of a molecule that's great. Ugh. But I want to take you beyond the beginner stuff and help you understand some mod models that explain some with more... <laughs> And to be honest, this concept of electrons holding everything together is itself a model. <coughs> I mean, think of the human models the, that people can. Do you think that the women in underwear catalogs and the guys, whoa. So in addition to understanding how a model represents reality, you also have ways to recognize the ways it doesn't represent reality. Oh, that was something that went wrong in my head. So you don't base a bunch of incorrect assumptions on it. You can just cut, edit that, pause out. So in addition to understanding how a model represents reality, you also have to recognize the ways and what the f And thanks to you for watching this episode of Crash Course Chemistry. I think you're all model students. It falls as rain and runs as rivers through the beds of the So, there we have it. Gallium, by the power of my body, I have turned it into a liquid, and that just makes it very clear to me how wick lick bow wick lick bow These are the weakest of the intermolecular forces because they're based on the temporary temp Which makes it sound like I think London is small and weak. I don't. I don't London. Like, I can smash ice with a hammer all I want and break it into smaller and smaller pieces, but the only way to eat, but only a big enough increase in heat. Conversely, the particles in a solid are very close together, so they have high density and can be compressed only a teeny tiny bit, even under huge amounts of pressure, and I'm not even on my galls.
Wah. Close? Here at Crash Course. For one thing, because... Wah. <laughs> Generally, a liquid can't form a perfect sphere because it's not in space. <laughs> Cohesion manifests itself in other ways too. For example, in molecules with very large intermolecular forces like... <laughs> I, was, I was gonna say honey, but honey is not a molecule. It is a bunch of honeys. It is a bunch of molecules. It's a bunch of honeys. It is a bunch of honeys. Cohesion manifests itself in other ways too. For example, in molecules with very large intermolecular forces, like the molecules in honey, which has a bunch of oxygen and hydrogen, it's all wanting to hydrogen bond with each other. The cohesion is so great that it makes the liquid flow very slowly. Yes, I know that wasn't very good. This <laughs> <laughs> like, you, you think that's okay, huh? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense! And then finally, you learned that surface tension can be broken by substances. I didn't even, I cut that out. So our script supervisor is Catherine Greened. And, Greened? I know your name. You're my wife. It's your name too. It's my name too. And unfortunately for all of us, that brings us to the end of this day's episode of Crash Course Chemistry. Also, you learned about Henry's Law, which states that the concentration of a dissolved gas equals the partial pressure of that gas above the solution of <laughs> You, you've learned how to calculate the equilibrium conditions of reactions just for just from just from knowing their monkey. And you may even have learned a little bit about the quadratic equation. <laughs> <laughs>